Okay, um, it seems like you have going through a period, a little bit of a hiccup in your relationship. You seem to be romanticizing the past, thinking about the past a lot. And there seems to be a little bit of lack of trust within that relationship. You are very, very strongly sexually attracted to this person, though. So um, there seems to be some kind of uh, something that may have happened uh, that has caused you to have a little bit of lack of trust. So you've got arguments and hurtful words, and this might be the reason why you are feeling this way about this relationship. And there was a need to actually have a heart-to-heart -heart chat to get over or get through some problems. Or maybe you've had a heart-to-heart -heart chat with this person. So get some advice or support from a friend, and that will be a good thing. It gives you a new perspective. And, uh, you know, maybe you are uh, planning on... Uh, there's a first date over here. So if you're in a relationship, maybe you're planning on going out and, and, and starting um, another relationship with somebody else. Uh, so that could well be the case. Um, you know, maybe this relationship is not working out for you and you want to go in and... Uh, and see other people so that could be the case but it's good to get some perspective so speak to somebody about what is going on uh, and you know get some ideas about what to do next okay you've got the seven of swords over here so um it looks like you feel like you're dealing with a lot of lies and deception at the moment um maybe some kind of truth has come to light uh and has caused you to uh you know review this relationship all over uh, you're spending a lot of time by yourself as well, uh, maybe not going out and maybe not socializing at all. Um, and you're reviewing this relationship quite thoroughly as well. There seems to be maybe there were disagreements within that relationship. But the Seven of Swords is about lies and deception and things coming to light. So maybe something has been revealed to you about the person that you're with. Now, you yourself is coming, you know, the first card is the uh, Queen of Rods. So that is your card. Uh, so you're very, very established. You know, you you know exactly what you want. Um, you've, uh, um, you know, you, you understand about how these relationships work. You're very independent, uh, and you're not prone to to being very emotional about things. So you're not up and down with your emotions. Um, you have seen everything. <laughs> you've seen a lot, and you know you know what you want out of life with this Queen of um, Rods. You you have a lot of authority uh, in your hands. So you know you're very established. If you had previous relationships in the past that didn't work out, so you know exactly how relationships go. And so you're not, you know, you're not going to be uh, somebody who is just starting up. You're not very naive about things. You know exactly what you want. So this relationship that you're in, uh, you know, uh, maybe it was a relationship that you got into after, uh, you know, you had previous um, uh, bad in, bad relationships. So you and this person... Um, you know, you'll communicate pretty well. You're um, on the same page. This person is pretty supportive. You uh, know exact. You know, they know exactly where you're coming from, and uh, you know they help. They helped you get through situations, uh, you know, or any kind of problems that you get. Uh, you were going through. So, uh, you know, they they um, they were quite supportive of you, and uh, you know, they were somebody that you can communicate with quite well, quite easily. And it seems like in this last year, you've been feeling a bit uh, restless uh, and you're feeling like a bit trapped within that relationship. Um, a bit caged. So although it seems to be going well and you're getting along very well with this person, it seems like, you know, they're maybe not uh, giving you what you want out of that relationship. They might be restricting you a bit too much and you're not very, very happy about that. It seems like they're taking a lot of, you know, they're taking charge and maybe this is not something that you're happy. You do, you know, since you're, you're a person who is very independent and a very independent thinker, you do want more control in that relationship. And it is, you do feel like you are being caged in at the moment. Now, in the last uh, few months, you've got the Five of Pentacles. Uh, you know, uh, the Five of Pentacles is usually about uh, you know, feeling um, uh, financial problems or, or burdens, or maybe there's been some problems within that relationship, and it might have involved finances. So maybe you um, and this person that you're involved with have been arguing about finances or having some financial problems as well, and that has uh, been something that has been putting a stress onto the relationship. And maybe this person that you're with, you know, they maybe they're not giving that relationship um, much attention. They might be not be focusing that much on that relationship. They they might have their own life and they're doing their own thing. You seem to have a very sexual relationship with this person as the queen of uh, king of rods. 
But other than that, not very, very emotional. Uh, and maybe this is what you want. Maybe it's not that caring. Maybe you want somebody to look after you and this person is just doing their own thing and getting on with their own lives. Maybe they have their own business uh, and you know, you, maybe you're not getting enough attention from them at the moment. And that's been playing on your mind. So it looks like you want something that is, uh, you know, a lot more passionate, uh, you know, something that where you're head over heels with this person. It looks like there's some kind of choice uh, that you have to make, some kind of decision that you make about where you want to go with this relationship, whether you want to continue with it or whether or not you want to uh, choose something else. Um, you know, it, it seems like the two of you do get along on uh, very well on, on a physical level. But, um, you know, even in this card, it seems like that emotional connection seems to be missing. And it seems like you want to make a brand new start uh, with the full card. Uh, and this is the card that's, uh, you know, in your energies. So it seems like you want to change things and you want to move on and start something brand new. And you're trying to find some kind of direction in your life uh, with the star card. Um, you can see there's the compass there and trying to find some inspiration, some kind of different path that you want to follow. So maybe this relationship is not offering you what you want. Um, maybe you can see shadows of whatever you want. But it is not giving you that um, direction. It's not giving you that uh, fulfillment that you want. And the thing that worries you, though, is that you're going to be up, uh, hurt by it and that you're going to end up being alone. And that is something that might be keeping you in that relationship. You don't want to be alone. You want to be with somebody, but maybe this relationship is not being uh, is not emotionally fulfilling you. So going into the future... You've got the Three of Swords over here, the Page of Swords, and uh, the King of Pentacles. So it like, looks like with the Three of Swords, you know, there is some kind of situation that is uh, coming in. You know, there might be some kind of heartbreak. There might be a third-party situation involved in over here. Maybe you're attracted to somebody else. Maybe your partner is attracted to somebody else. And this causes some kind of crisis within the relationship. So something happening within that relationship that is going to cause a little bit of heartbreak. Um, maybe you're deciding to cut this relationship out. Um, maybe there's a loss of communication. Maybe you're deciding to move on and, uh, you know, break uh, and, and establish a relationship with somebody else. Uh, it, it's based on the fact that maybe you feel like you're making too much of sacrifice and the sacrifice of this relationship doesn't seem to be worth it. With this page of swords, it's about getting news that is not um, very appealing. So maybe you found out some information that you're not very keen on uh, about this person and this is causing this argument or fight between you and uh, the person that you're with. Um, so it seems like something's coming to light, uh, some information coming to light and you're not very, very happy about what you hear about it. And maybe this is the reason, this causes some kind of crisis within the relationship. And you've got the page of pentacles over, sorry, the king of pentacles over here. It seems like maybe you're going to turn your back on this relationship and just focus more on your career. Uh, and establishing yourself in your career-wise rather than spending any more time. So you are doing a lot of consideration of you, spending a lot of time reviewing the situation, and some information ha seems to have come or will come to light that makes you uh, decide that you want to maybe turn your back on that relationship. This might also be that, um, you know, maybe you end up meeting somebody else who is more financially, uh, you know, more financially lucrative uh, relationship, somebody who is maybe a business person or... or Somebody else, this could be, um, you know, you leaving that relationship completely behind and uh, meeting somebody else who has um, is more financially established. On the other hand, it could be you just deciding that you want to end the relationship and focus more on your career rather than, um, you know, spend time making sacrifices because this is a card of almost self-sacrifice, uh, giving up things for a relationship that is not really working out. Maybe there's a lot of arguments within this relationship uh, maybe you all are not getting along because you all are not communicating too well. And maybe you decide that, you know, with all the information that com it comes to light, you're going to leave it and concentrate more on your um, career. So you're reaching a point where you're making some kind of decision, some kind of choice with this lover's card, um, where you decide either to stay in the relationship or move on. And it seems like you do want to move on with this full card and find a new direction in your life. Okay, so let's draw some cards from the... Um so you've got a Puffini card over here, uh, which says joy through spiritual growth, be the light to others, answers that come through meditation. So it seems like some sort of information coming to light and that gives you pause for thought. So you've got an epiphany coming. So some kind of, uh, you know, a big, um, 
bit of information coming your way that's going to lead to new beginnings. So something, even with this page of swords, some kind of information coming to light. You can see the candle here. The page of swords is usually about a communication or some kind of truth coming to light. That's going to make you leave that relationship behind in epiphany and start something new, start a new journey. So starting a new life, finding your purpose, forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So it seems like you want to give up this relationship, but some sort of information is going to come in and change your mind and make you start afresh, something new. And then you've got the Nine of Michael, which says, your worries are necessary. Focus your thoughts on the, out on the outcome you desire and release the feelings of regret, guilt and worry to your angels. So whatever this new beginning is, is going to leave you in a very anxious state of affairs with this Nine of Michael because it's, you know, it's the card of the Nine of Swords where you don't sleep at night and you're very worried about whatever is going to happen. And it says not to worry. Whatever your decision you make um, is going to be the right decision for you. Uh, and because with this new beginnings, it looks like you are divinely guided here. And you've got Archangel Jeremio uh, guiding you to make this decision and start afresh. And you shouldn't be worried because... Um, you know, this if if you're worried about being alone or being, uh, you know, um, by yourself, it seems like you know that is just unnecessary worry. It looks like you will find somebody that will give you that support that you need. So you're reaching a point um, in your relationship where you are about to make a decision. Uh, you want to start something new, um, and it looks like some information coming to light, uh, and um, you know. It looks like it might cause you to actually leave the, that relationship and start something afresh or start a new, a new journey, a new path that is much more fulfilling for you.